Good morning, I'm Brooke Blanchard, class of 2024, and we are all representing the Student Activities and Advocacy Councils, and these are our other members. Hi, I'm Dyson Morell, class of 2025, and I'm on Activities. I'm Isaac Radish, I'm on the class of 2026, and I'm representing Activities. My name is Mia Chase, I'm class of 2025, and I'm on the Student Advocacy Board. Hi, I'm Rowan Crawford, class of 2025, and I'm also on the Advocacy Board. Hi, I'm Penelope, class of 2026, and I am also on advocacy. Spirit Week is the week of October 2nd, and there are a lot of activities during this week. We're gonna give you some instructions, but do not do these things until the video is complete. Y'all need to make sure you fill out your t-shirt size forms on your respective class's Google Classrooms. Teachers, please make sure you help any students who need help, and remember that you have your own t-shirt size forms sent to you in an email by Ms. Payton that you need to fill out. Make sure this gets done by the end of the activity period, but do not do anything until the video is over. 10th, 11th, and 12th graders also need to go to their Google Classrooms to fill out the Spirit Week class theme form. The results will be announced early next week. Please don't do this until after this video is done. After this video is finished, we're asking the homeroom teachers to spend some time with their class and come up with one homecoming dance theme. After these are complete, please send these in an email to Mr. Paraco. We need help creating class doors and banners September 29th and 30th. If you can help with this, you can get volunteer hours for participating in these activities. So make sure to keep your eyes peeled for further announcements. We also need help writing and performing a skit. So please fill out that form if you're interested. We hope you all get involved in Spirit Week. And now Advocacy Board has some important announcements. Hello, we are some members from the Student Advocacy Board, and as the Student Advocacy Board, we work as a liaison between teachers, students, and staff to try and get the policies that you demand. One of the ways that we do this is by listening to the voices of our community. If you have a concern regarding anything at Franklin, you can fill out a form sent by Eve Payton in the Daily Digest, and this concern will go directly to admin to come to a resolution. On the flip side, if you want to acknowledge some of the outstanding members of our Franklin community, you can do this by filling out the student shout out form, but also looking for anybody like staff, teachers, etc., and they will receive a prize. Make sure to check your Google Classrooms to make sure you fill out all those forms we assigned. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching! Bye! bye.